So I uh, thought I'd kind of explain the whole seeding system. It's uh, quite a long unit that we have here and we usually seed from um, probably beginning of May until the uh, beginning of June. Uh, today's the 24th of May in 2019. Uh, just pointing out a few things. So this right here, uh, that's our anhydrous tank. So that's uh, um, where we get our nitrogen. I'll show you where that goes. Um, over here, this is our tank that has, um, we have seed place fertilizer in here as well as uh, seed. Um, right now I'm seeding malting barley for beer. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of different gauges that uh, we calibrate to make sure we're getting the right amount of seed and fertilizer. Uh, that's based on a soil scientist's uh, recommendation uh, that we uh, pay for. So what happens is the, uh, the cart over here is pressurized with air. There's a big fan. Actually, I'll show you the fan. There's a fan on the back that uh, pressurizes everything right here. Uh, and that then seeds out the fertilizer uh, through these tubes and the seed. And it goes all the way through these big hoses and all these little hoses and eventually gets into um, the furrows. So these are, this is what we call a precision uh, seeding system or a precision drill. Uh, and we have different settings that we can set each individual opener to the depth that we want. So if you look right here, um, you can see there's uh, barley seed right here. It's, uh, we have a, a special treatment that we put on to make sure that uh, it doesn't get any soil or seed borne diseases. And what you do is if you pull back, the darker um, uh, dirt, that means there's moisture there. And you can see there's moisture pretty much uh, just a little bit below the uh, surface. It's kind of, you can see it's dusty, dusty right here, but you don't have to dig very far and then you can see the, the moist dirt. And that's exactly where we want uh, to put the seed. So the seed, uh, we like to put in moisture. Barley is roughly about, um, give or take, a, an inch, 1.2 to 1.3 inches is what we're aiming for. And then uh, you can see that's my uh, big old tractor um, that pulls it all. And inside the tractor we have numerous uh, different controls. And I'll just give you a look and see what the controls look like inside kind of loud out here but it's already beeping at me inside. Oh, I'll turn the radio off. But you can see I have numerous different things from my hydraulic control. So these things uh, I have different controls to run uh, the, uh, the pressure of the tank, how fast the tank fan is spinning to give me the pressure I need to get the seeds out. This right here is the monitor to set the pressure on those independent packers. Like I said before, each individual row has its own packer and it's set to an individual depth. Um, right here is my, um, this is a blockage monitor. So it tells me if any of my little tubes are plugged up with seed or something else, gook. This is kind of the main system that runs my auto steer. Uh, as I mentioned before, the anhydrous actually goes through discs on the front, which I'll just show you in a bit. This is my monitor to sh show how much I'm seeding. And this will actually automatically turn on and turn off. Uh, if I'm overlapping for any reason, it automatically shuts off. Uh, and I can set uh, how many pounds of nitrogen I want as per the soil scientist's recommendation. I just want to show you um, briefly how that works in terms of the anhydrous. It goes into these little discs. So they're fine discs right here. And there's hoses on the back right here where the anhydrous shoots down into the ground. So we try not to lose any uh, nitrogen to the environment, try to be as environmentally con conscious as po con conscience as possible uh, to make sure that we uh, use as much nitrogen as possible.
Okay, and that's kind of a quick overview of uh, how a cedar works.